Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and I wanted to do a video today talking about Sony at E3 2018. Now, it's a bit scary, but it is about three months until um, the PlayStation press conference will get underway. So I wanted to do a video with a bit of speculation and just some thoughts about whether we can expect to be surprised by um, Sony's big presentation this year. Now I have got a cold, so I apologize for my voice. Please don't moan in the comments section below. If you can't stand the nasal sound of my voice, then you can shut the video off. Now, with that said, let's get into it. So somewhere buried in the depths of Sony HQ, um, presumably behind like armed bodyguards and elaborate lock panels, there will be a whiteboard with the agenda for PlayStation's big E3 2018 showcase hastily plotted out on it. Um, but like I said at the start, some three months prior to the live stream getting underway, I'm curious whether those squiggles of red and black ink um, could possibly harbour any surprises at all, or if, like the somewhat safe E3 2017, this is going to be another presentation filled with projects that we already know about. Now, I want to stress there was nothing wrong with last year's um, PlayStation press conference, um, but I think that Sony is now paying the price for the shock and awe of past pressers. Um, it didn't take me particularly long to think about what will be at E3 2018. I mean, The Last of Us Part 2's full gameplay reveal has already been confirmed. Uh, Spider-Man will definitely get dated. Um, Days Gone, after its delay, will probably put in its third E3 appearance. And then you've got the likes of Dreams and Death Stranding that are working towards similar records. So there's also third party partnerships of course, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2, although Rockstar doesn't often appear at E3, I imagine that will pad out the itinerary, and then with stuff like PlayStation VR and a token indie title or two, you're already looking at near enough an hour to 90 minutes of content there. Um, but would this lineup really satisfy um, gamers and PlayStation fans when all of the games are pretty much known quantities? I mean, can Sony even surprise us at this stage. So there are a few things that maybe would surprise. Um, Ghost of Tsushima could be ready for the prime time, we might see some gameplay of that, but Sucker Punch has kind of already had its shock moment when it announced it at Paris Games Week. And then there's other smaller projects like Medieval Remastered, I mean that's an exciting proposition but you're not going to get viral videos of people punching the air over that being shown on stage. Uh, what else even is there at this point? Sony's first party teams are pretty much spoken for and that's kind of the problem. So there is still Japan Studio, I guess. Um, they may well have new projects in the pipeline after putting out the likes of Gravity Rush 2 and The Last Guardian over 12 months ago. Um, there is obviously speculation about um, From Software doing a new Bloodborne game, but I think some of this is just wishful thinking. Um, the reveal teaser that was shown at the Game Awards last year, um, my understanding is that that is actually a new game, even though it did look very similar to um, Bloodborne and it's probably going to be multi-format um, and then there are third party games that are rumoured to show up on Sony's stage this year. Devil May Cry 5 kind of leaked. Um, I wouldn't expect that to be an exclusive, but I would expect Sony to maybe announce it and do something similar like it did with Monster Hunter World, where it kind of markets it like it's an exclusive and uh, try and kind of not deceives people, but you know, makes it look like it's a first party game. Um, there's also the Spyro remaster, which is heavy. Um, it's been speculated for a while now um, and that makes sense that that will be a timed exclusive to the PS4 because of the characters association with the brand uh, but now we know the deal with Crash Bandicoot you're gonna get absolutely waves of port begging um, attached to that and, and to be honest after how we all reacted to Rise of the Tomb Raider it kind of makes sense um, so I guess I come back to my initial question can Sony surprise at E3 2018? Um, I mean, it's obvious for it to do so, it needs to have something more than what I've mentioned in this video, something that we don't see coming, but is that truly realistic? Well, for as much as I hope to be proven wrong, I'd argue that it's actually not realistic at all. I think Sony at the moment is paying the price for announcing games 
perhaps way too early. And while it's honestly hard to complain about the potential lineup it will be able to assemble for E3 2018, I mean I've detailed some pretty cool games in this video already, I think it's important that people start thinking even this early about calibrating their expectations because I truly believe that, that massive surprises are going to be very thin on the ground this year. But what do you think Sony can do to surprise at E3 2018? Uh, do you even care about shock reveals if the games on display look great? I mean, if The Last of Us 2 it looks amazing as we all expect, does it really matter that it was announced before? I don't know, it probably doesn't, right? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching as always. Do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Sorry about my voice and I'll catch you next time.